you want to host a big brekkie in your church for Christian Aid, but the thought of frying 100 sausages and twice as many eggs fills you with dread. Hi, I'm Manus McCon and I've been serving up award-winning breakfast here at Cafe Connor for over 20 years now. I'm going to share a few tips of the trade with you that's going to make your brekkie a big success. You don't need to have all the equipment of a professional kitchen, so let's go down to my church and see how it works. Morning team! Tip 1. You need a good team. Quality rather than quantity. A few in the kitchen to help keep the kettle on the boil and the toast popping out of those toasters. And allocate your servers to a couple of tables each. Tip two, the night before. Do as much as you can the night before. Set the tables and fill the boilers if you have them. Tip three, quality. It doesn't matter whether you're cooking five sausages or 50 sausages, it's the quality that counts. High pork content. It's not that you're going to get a 50% reduction when you cook these in the oven. Whoa. Tip 4. Cook in advance. Fry off your sausages and bacon in advance and put them into the lower part of the oven to reheat. Tip 5. Tomatoes and beans. Tomatoes halved, put into the bottom of the oven with your sausages and the bacon. They're easily lifted out and already portioned. An A10 tin of beans from the cash and carry, about five, six pounds, giving you 35 to 40 portions. Into a small ramekin dish when they're heated, very handy to serve and nice for presentation. Tip six, the bread. You can keep it very simple by those borrowed toasters, um, using your pan and plain bread, or for me, potato bread, into the oven layered up couple of minutes. But don't use soda bread. Soda bread's inclined to break up and go soft. It doesn't work that well. Tip seven, no mushrooms. And guys, don't tackle mushrooms. No matter how fresh they are, when you cook them, they're going to shrink, there's water going to turn out of them, and they're eventually going to turn black. Forget it. Tip eight, warm to hot plates. The time your server gets to the table, that plate will have cooled down a little, but hopefully the food won't. Tip nine, the eggs. I know we all like a fried egg with our breakfast, but you don't have to make it difficult for yourself. What about go for a scrambled egg? They keep their color and their texture, or pre-cooked omelets, cut into slices. Heat and serve. Tip 10, look good. If you can make it look good, you're halfway there to making it taste good. Start simple with some pancake, fruit, natural yogurt, or what about the traditional bacon buddy? Sharing a meal is a great way of fellowship, but you can also raise much needed funds for the work of Christian Aid.